welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are chemicals which are found in plants and they are a source of food as can be seen by the pictures here. Carbohydrate is a chemical term which we can split up into the elements which make a carbohydrate. So the carbo part indicates that we have carbon. The hydrate part indicates that we have hydrogen and the eight part shows us that we have a compound containing three elements, two of which are named and the last one is oxygen. So all carbohydrates contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Here is a simple formula for a carbohydrate. What you will find with all carbohydrates is that they will have a ratio of hydrogen to oxygen is two to one. This doesn't guarantee that you have a carbohydrate, but all of the carbohydrates that you will look at in the course will fit the pattern of a two to one ratio of hydrogen to oxygen. Simple carbohydrate would be glucose, which has the formula C6H12O6. Starch is a complex carbohydrate, which is formed in plants by joining glucose molecules together. We can represent this as a box for a glucose molecule. And if we join a number of these together, we get a long chain complex carbohydrate, which is starch. Chemical tests can be used to test for glucose and starch. We can now have a look at what these tests look like. So we have the two chemical tests for glucose and for starch. So the first for glucose is to test with Benedict's solution. This needs to be warm. A positive result for glucose is that the blue Benedict's solution will turn a orange colour. Starch is tested with iodine solution and you can just drop the iodine onto the substance and it will change colour if starch is present and it will change from a red brown to a deep blue black as a positive test for starch. So during digestion when we eat foods which contain starch our bodies break them down into glucose molecules. This is because in the gut wall there are small gaps for glucose molecules to be able to fit through into our bloodstream. From here, the glucose molecules can then be used by cells during respiration. Starch molecules are long chain molecules, as we've seen previously, and they're too big to fit through the gut wall. So during digestion, the bonds here are broken and the glucose molecules 
are then small enough to fit through the gut wall. Pause the video now and decide if these chemicals are carbohydrates or not. So how do we know if something is a carbohydrate or not? We're looking for that hydrogen to oxygen ratio of 2 to 1. So in the first example, we have C12H22O11. So that would be a carbohydrate. In the second example, we have C3H6O2. This does not have the 2 to 1 ratio, so it's not a carbohydrate. The third example, we have C4H8O2. Again, we don't have the 2 to 1 ratio, so it's not a carbohydrate. In our last example, we have C6H12O6. We have a 2 to 1 ratio between hydrogen and oxygen, so that is a carbohydrate. Have a look at these diagrams and decide what is being tested and what is being used to carry out the test. So in this first diagram, we can see that the colour change is blue to orange. So this is a test for glucose. And to do the test, we need to have Benedict's solution. In this second picture, we can see a reddy brown going to a blue black. So we're testing for starch. And to do that, we're using iodine. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on videos throughout the year and flashcards daily. Bye for now.